The Filthy Show has extremely explicit content. It is not intended for children, adults, or anyone, really. Especially retards without a sense of humor. If you offend easily, please fuck off now. All right, guys, welcome to another episode of The Filthy Show. A uh, really fun episode today. We have uh, me, your host, Adam Lucky, my co-host, uh, the man with the milk in his tits, Chris Reese. It hurts. I haven't milked them in a while. Yeah. They're infected. Fully lactating man. The first one ever, Well, actually. your daughter Ooh. stopped breastfeeding, and I have nowhere to get rid of the milk. That was nice. She wasn't latching on my wife because her nipples are too big, and Chris has tiny little cat nipples. I have so. perfect nipples for children to latch onto. Mm-hmm. Wow. What it's, about adults? Ew. No. <laughs> no I, I mean, yeah. Hey, never this is mind, the filthy dude. show. We talk, talk about gross stuff. Gross. Like adult people sucking on nipples. Uh, it's I guess not made for that. Uh, I'd say one of the top 10 black comedians in Austin, Texas. We have Marcus Olin today. Hey, man. Yeah, that's actually it. true. There was no, a time where me and you were two of the blackest comedians in Austin. Yeah. I, I wasn't happy about it. No, I mean, it's a bummer that there's no, like, actual black comedy scene here like other towns have. Not at all. Because, like, when we went back to Detroit recently, it was just like, oh, this is what this could be like. That's how you know Tacoma I mean? was, too. Tacoma had a whole other scene that yeah. was all black. And for us, it was great. That's because where we thrived, pretty much. Same, yeah. yeah. They're so non-judgmental about topics you choose. They're just like, if you're funny... You can perform here. Yeah. Even if yeah. you're white, they're like, if you can handle a room full of 80 black people that are going to fucking be your enemy the second you walk out there, but you can turn them like that yeah. if you're funny. Especially then. if you look like two goofy assholes like us. Yeah. We're and then, and then just, again, being honest about like, yeah, I'm too white to be in this room right mm-hmm. now. I don't know. Like, what do you guys? T- I don't even know what your heckles mean. You have you have <laughs> to mention it. <laughs> yeah. Like, I've you, seen yes. white comics go up there and just try to do their set and like, they'll start getting the mm mm. Yeah, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. man, you ain't funny, boy. Oh, I, I mean, I've been there before too. <laughs> oh, I've, I've been deep in there, <laughs> dude. Just I remember being in a black room one time, and uh, there was a guy up front. He tried to give me the light, and I wasn't having that. I was like, <laughs> "You don't run this fucking just a show." Normal guy. <laughs> so then he started like calling for the host. The host was named Kool Aid. R.I.P. He died recently, but he, he or a couple years ago. <laughs> so he's crazy. Started, I know another comic named Kool Aid. Oh shit! Okay, <laughs> there's more than one. He's so he's like calling him. He's like, "Kool Aid, get him off stage!" And Kool Aid pops out. He's like. Let him keep going. So it just turned into a cross argument while I'm bombing. You know what I mean? So it was just mm-hmm. a fucking, but it, you know, it makes you stronger. Probably. Wait, is this Kool-Aid a white guy or a black No. Guy? Okay. I was about to say. You thought the guy named Kool-Aid was a white guy? I know a comedian named Kool-Aid, Alex A Ansel, white guy? And he's a big fat white guy. Wow. Oh, hell. He's no. funny. I was about to say, if he died, I'd be sad, but I wouldn't be surprised. He's like 450 pounds. Damn. Yeah. But that's is his he whole a cool thing. guy? Well, I don't know him that well. He so why would you be sad if he died then? <laughs> well, the thing is, I, I wasn't a comedian yet. I was living in San Antonio, and I did one open mic there when yeah. I was eighteen. And then after that, I would go to the open mics, but I was a little too scared to do it. And mm. he was like one of their best guys, so it's like you know, I looked up to him a little bit. And then he went to this bar I was a regular at. He went there all the time and did karaoke. Okay, so we would hang out sometimes. There. Do you like karaoke? If Adam's I'm good drunk, at karaoke. If I'm drunk enough, I like it. You're good yeah. at it? I'm not good at it. Chris always said, Chris is just a really good uh, friend. So he says <laughs> I am, but no, uh, I'm. I like him. The thing karaoke. is, though, when I do it, I fucking go for it. I hate karaoke. It's not, I'm not good at it, but I will. My favorite song to karaoke is Medium Pace by Adam Sandler. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you've oh, heard that. I, I, yeah, recently. Adam I've heard does it. Don't Take the Girl sometimes. Yeah, too. by Tim McGraw. Don't, I don't take know that one. The girl. Johnny's daddy was taking him fishing. It's a beautiful he song. He was eight years old. That is not what I would picture you singing. <laughs> yeah. I'm picturing like wrist cutting fucking like oh, fake I metal that. music. No. I can maybe do here. like I'm Not Okay by My Chemical Romance. Adam may not be the best, he's not the best singer. But he does karaoke right. He's not a good singer, but he goes for it. He has mm. so much energy. I will say that's that's what I feel karaoke should be. Yeah. I think it's weird when people take it seriously. It's so like, sad. Are you doing I mean, my song? You can song? just say you don't like Japanese people. <laughs> like that's fine. No, they. they Who else takes it seriously? They are the perfect what well, like afford it because they're bad at it but they fucking go for it so hard. <laughs> well, we went to karaoke once up in Oklahoma, and there was this black woman just crushing her song. And it's sad because she's a beautiful singer and that's all she has Damn. with that talent. That's you went to thing. a Lizzo concert in Oklahoma. Yes, yeah, she I was fat. She didn't <laughs> it didn't sell well. It didn't sell, <laughs> it didn't sell well <laughs> okay. in, Oklahoma. in Oklahoma. She was headlining a Waffle House. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, she was cooking there also. Damn. But she yeah. was also belting her ass off. It's so sad when somebody's just absolutely good well, at that, singing. That's the thing. They're at karaoke. Yeah. Yeah. Comedy has that over singing, I think, because 
for the most part, there's obviously exceptions, but for the most part, if someone's an absolute fucking talented killer as a comedian, mm. they have some some kind of success, somewhat, most of the time. There's so very, maybe locally or something, like yeah. if, they, if they're in like butt fuck fucking yeah. North Dakota or something. they're booked on a bar show yeah, every well, week there's and definitely, stuff. Yeah. There's dark horses out there that just aren't getting the respect they deserve. But I think most people, if you just absolutely crush, you eventually will find some, especially if you move to another scene, whereas... Yeah. There, you can be an amazing singer, and you'll see it at karaoke. You'll see like two or three people who are incredible, mm. and it's just like they nothing. They yeah, nothing no one cares. Because singing, I think, is more like, what do you look like? That's what, what I was going to say. You have to be hot. Yeah, you got to be a hot person. Or now, goofy is kind of it. Like not not goofy, but like different looking. Like that Chapel Roan chick is not. hot. Who the fuck is that? Uh, can you pull her oh, up? she's something. She's like the new huge pop star. She's oh, designed. God. I'm gonna hate her. I already know. It's kind of like women to have like think they're lesbians or something. It's so kind of like Lady, Lady Gaga. So it's like singer Kamala Harris. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. I mean, look, she, this is like this girl's Ugh. like a four. Can we click on her Wikipedia? I just have some questions. But here's the thing: if I saw this girl in a bar, I'd be stoked because I'd be like obtainable, and obtainable, obtainable is the hottest thing to me. Uh, nothing it's turns me on. Is the hottest dude, thing, nothing dude. turns me on more than just an obtainable girl that's just by herself at a bar. I'm like, hell yeah, I have a chance. You scroll down a bit. Her music is very much that's like that's perfect. Oh, you are. It's like that's, that's what it, that's that sounds exactly like a dead what goat. it sounds like. I like dead if you goat. ever listen to the radio, hers uh, one of her big songs. I hate it so much. Is she H lived in a trailer two. park. Okay, so she's like female Eminem. She's obtainable. Yeah. Okay. I do live in a trailer with my mom. All right, that's been <laughs> done before. Uh, Chapel Road. It's practically just gay music. That's what. Oh, uh, is she gay? That's what college kids who think they're gay. Women love Listen to. gay stuff. Oh. College women who think they're bi or lesbians and shit. Women love gay stuff to a point where it's kind of insulting to gay people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> why do women, why are they so obsessed with gay shit? Well, because it makes them interesting, I guess. They think it does. Like, I came out as bi and. I think it, it mostly stems for their hatred towards men, personally. Because it's like, first off, lesbians are cool because lesbians don't need men. Exactly. They okay. just, they just women power all the time. They just. Eat each other's gushy little pee holes and yeah. just have a great little girl time. Hold on, pause real quick. Yeah. Do you think lesbians have gushy pee holes? I hope so. I imagine they're dry as a fucking biscuit. I imagine. Why would you yeah. take that away from Adam? I do imagine a lot of pubes. Why would you take that away? I imagine. I'm, I'm curious. <laughs> I am imagining a lot of pubes and uh, labia that looks like gum that's just been out for a long time. Yeah. Like sun gum. Sun gum? Girl, you got some sun gum down sun, there. Some sun gum pussy. <laughs> she got sun. that sun gum pussy. Girl, bring that your sounds like a Chinese restaurant. Sun. <laughs> sun gum pussy. <laughs> you guys going to sun gum pussy tonight? Well, hello. Welcome back to sun. <laughs> oh, shit. My bad. Fuck. No, that was great. That was nah. a really good Asian voice. I know. Well. You're not gonna. Uh, uh, I thank mean, you. Ben Bankus, Asian voiced all over this goddamn. Well, podcast. yeah, and I know I can't beat the Ben Bankus in the Asian voice competition, so I wouldn't even try. I no, mean, I, I tried. Like, I like yours a little bit better. He's doing one that everyone kind of does right now, where it's that real like poppy, like "Oh, you go to a man, yeah. I'm going to da da." Can you do yours real quick? Uh, what were we talking about? Uh, oh, welcome to a sun uh, gum, gum pussy. A <laughs> oh, sun gum pussy on number five. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? Are we ordering for a restaurant? <laughs> One sun gum uh, pussy uh, number we, five, please. Oh, uh, we crossed. We crossed today. <laughs> well, that's a real South Park one. <laughs> yeah, I, I love that. I, I mean, oh, that's where we all pussy. Look, all our racism started with South Park. <laughs> it did. Yeah, <laughs> and it won't end with South Park. No, it's no, gonna it's end gonna with end. storming. The no, okay, it's gonna end with <laughs> again. It was jokes, but then we're gonna realize there was a lot of truth in those jokes. <laughs> that is what Asian people sound like yeah, when no, they, if they're from oh. Asia and they didn't grow up speaking. That's what an Asian accent is. I love Asians, by the way. I and just want to get fine, that out. I guess not all of them. <laughs> I don't love all Asian people. Filipinos. I don't are blanket a love or hate anybody. Um, Let me meet the person. I blanket hate Indians, and I will stand on that. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of Indians either, guys. Look, I think Indians are fine if they stay in India. Just <laughs> stay over there. That's oh, all. those Indians. Yeah, yeah. Fine. Oh, like Native. I don't mind. I, mean, I was. Wrong side of the... There's just not enough of Native Americans yeah. to piss me yeah, off. I, I was just Native on the wrong Americans. side of the Sacagawea coin on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's weird that if you hate Native Americans, because I'm like, there's just not that many. <laughs> like, Have you ever met one? That's all it's... So, no, I'm fucking sorry. <laughs> I hooked up with a Native American girl one time. See, and I hooked up with an Indian girl one time. Oh, like, oh, the Durka Durka Muhammad Jihad. <laughs> I mean, yeah, 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 he yeah, goes, her. Her, <laughs> Durka Durka. The reaction was perfect. It's you just, knew exactly what I hooked up with. Every time I see, like, an Indian, like, porn or something, it's so much hair, and it always looks like it was filmed on a, VA, like a VHS camera. That's what they have. <laughs> I guess that's all they got over there. I hate it. There's well, always a three-hour dance But then when scene. I call tech support for this... Yeah. 
It's there. I get India. And they know. Mm -hmm. How do you know how to fix this if you're VHSing that? That's, That's what I don't get. That's a good point. Yeah, right? like, we use our good stuff just to help you guys. <laughs> that's kind of, that's almost like my retard voice. Yeah, I was like, that, was, that was like a fifth grader Indian. with a speech impediment. I am Indian. <laughs> India seems like a terrible Well, that's country. the thing is India, it's they make populated, yeah. shit movies. Mm. Shit, Bollywood's shit. It's awful. The movies are so stupid. Have you ever tried to watch one? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's absolute garbage. Ask me again if I've ever tried to watch a Bollywood movie. Have you ever tried to watch a Bollywood movie? No. <laughs> Hell no. Because <laughs> the whole thing will just be Why? like, they love over the top action scenes. Yeah. And then like, it'll go slow-mo and stop. And then it's all of a sudden they're on a beach. And it's like, my heart and your heart. Bang -a -ding -a -ding, bang -a -ding -a -ding. <laughs> so it's kind of like Indian Medea. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. just like, well, oh, there's a musical number to this now. If there okay. was musical numbers in Medea, that'd be great. Are there? The plays, yeah. You gotta oh, watch the plays. That makes sense. You're watching Tyler Perry's House of Pain. You gotta watch the live plays. Okay, don't yell at us about uh, Bollywood and you watch Medea plays. <laughs> Hold on. You don't look I've like watched, you watch Medea plays either. I've also yes, seen Slumdog Millionaire. That's a good movie. Oh, I like that movie. That's not but a Bollywood you know what's, movie. You know what's funny about it's Slumdog not? Millionaire? Is it's, it's not Bollywood. It's Hollywood. But... The whole movie goes by with no dance scenes, and then it ends with the dance scene. Yeah, they had to do it. They, they had could, to do they it. They just couldn't get. Yeah, it does. I the don't credits is that. like oh, wing -a -ding -a -ding, You didn't ding. get to the end. No, I think it was. I was sick. <laughs> sick of it. I had a sickness in my stomach. I like. Yeah. I do like that movie, and I like Life of Pi. I like the. I like the idea that Chris is watching it, and he's at the like two hundred fifty thousand mark. And he's like, this is when I would just take the cash and leave. And he just walks out of the movie. <laughs> yeah, theater. of course. Yeah, I'd be like Slumdog 250,000. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I Smart. end movies on my term. I like that, dude. That's a power move, dude. That you end sense. sex on your terms, too. You're like, I'm done. Adam gets mad at me because I go to bed with like 20 minutes it's, left in a movie. Okay, first off, that's an exaggeration. <laughs> it is not 20 minutes. We were watching Untraceable, which is a pretty solid thriller. Okay. I was probably about... Four minutes left. It was oh. literally the climactic ending scene. And then he just was like, I think I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> that's that's literally what pulling out is. Like when people are like, oh, why don't you pull? Like I like I wear condoms because I suck at pulling out. And they're like, why don't you pull out? I'm like, yeah, at the best part, just make a real rational fucking decision. I kind of like it. Yeah, but pulling out a little bit. It's fun to see how much you gush. <laughs> the equivalent to what uh, Adam's talking about with pulling out is uh, me pulling out and not coming. And just going to bed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That would be crazy. That's so funny. All right, I'm done. Did you come? No. You no. pull your Did cock you out of a girl and you're like, oh, yeah, and then nothing happens. <laughs> what do you want to do? <laughs> so what do you want to do now? <laughs> pull up. That was good. That's all right. <laughs> I, uh, speaking of getting sick, uh, I the one Indian chick I hooked up with. Oh, uh, no. I, you already know Smells where this like is going. like diarrhea. Oh, well, <laughs> let me get to it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I went down on her and then afterwards there was like a neurovirus kind of going around already mm. so i think i got the neurovirus and then hooked up with her went down on her and then we kind of went to bed and i woke up four hours later and just like yacked all over her toilet but i know in my mind at first i was like did her pussy give me food poisoning yeah and i know that's what she's thinking because women get very self-conscious and every, i'm just every and she had such a room. nice bathroom yeah because she's a girl can right? i ask they, you something real quick when you threw yes. up in her bathroom did her parents wake up and be like oh is it dinner time <laughs> <laughs> No, she actually <laughs> smells like our food in here. She had her own place. <laughs> is it dinner time? Uh, is it dinner time? <laughs> yeah, but what was funny is after that, she never let me go down on her again. Interesting. Women yeah. are very self conscious about it. Wow, that. dude. So, you figured yeah. out a life hack. <laughs> <laughs> I Just like it. I like downing a girl. Well, who doesn't? It's a power black, move, too. Black guys. Well, okay. Then why, I, do, why do we like it then? Huh? Oh, we are Never black Because we're so <laughs> about that. Uh, I think black guys are just gay. I think that's why. <laughs> <really good. laughs> yeah, I hate eating fucking mushy pussy. Dude. I have I said that on the podcast multiple times. That there is, I'm not saying for sure, but there is a possibility that every single black guy is gay. Well, it's funny that <laughs> black guys on the corner say all white guys are gay. Yeah, which is possible too. I'm not fighting it. Yeah, but we, we might all just be gay. <laughs> Maybe guys all, are just all gay. I would say if guys all just got gay, I think the world would be a better place. Not mm -hmm. for women. Are you serious? Yeah, I think we'd have a good time. <laughs> Who dudes. are we going to oppress? Women. Oh, they're still around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, we're we'll all be around. Yeah, we, we need them for sure. I just stuff. can't imagine the butt sex is better than the... No, I've know. had girl butt sex, well, if and it's not better at all. Than guy butt sex? <laughs> no, 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 no. The rigid hair rubbing against your shaft, <laughs> oh, God it rips. It. It's like tiny little hands tapping your wiener. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you're getting a million little hand jobs as you're fucking his ass? Oh, I wouldn't want that. Well, while we're on the topic of Indian women, this is, I remember this was one of the most like, 
It felt racist in the moment because it was when I said it. <laughs> I was, and I meant it in a racist I did, way. I didn't, I don't know how I meant it. I was hung over at the time and I was talking to my buddies and they were like, why do you like Indian girls? And I was like, well, they're like Mexican girls, but smart. And I didn't even think about how insulting that is to Mexicans. That's a really good way to describe them. I thought so. I thought and that was my autism kind of coming out too, where it's just like, this is literally what I think. Yeah. And then I'm like, I'm at college. It's all Indian girls. I don't fucking what I didn't do admissions here. Where did you go to college? Michigan. So it was a lot of Indian girls Uh because it's a good school and Indians are smart. You went to Ringeringa University. (laughs) It's one of the biggest. And all the uh, Mexican girls are cutting grass and shit. I that's more hey, of a Mex- that. That's more of a Mexican man thing. Yeah. Mexican women are more known for just their ability to make litters. 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 <laughs> litters of kids. Litters, man. <laughs> yeah, Speaking they of press, have- do you think they lay on their side and all the kids are- <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's suck so, their teeth. Ooh, oh, now I'm so getting tired. hard. All right, now I'm getting hard. Oh, yeah. All right, I didn't say I didn't like Mexican. I like women. a good Mexican <laughs> woman. I like Mexican women. They're just very hairy. Yeah, which is weird. Because what do you need all that? that hair for? You live in a hot place. Mm. Mm. I guess not- it holds the sweat. You ever uh, see you ever see those like clearly illegal Mexican ladies on the side of the highway selling flowers and they're wearing like long sleeves. Yeah. All long sleeves. They're fine with it. Why? I don't know. Because I think, they're from Mexico. I think Mexicans are just used to being miserable. Damn. <laughs> they mm-hmm. always look kind of miserable. <laughs> they're, always, they're always like, oh. You know why? I'm like, no. <laughs> I don't want a flower. You're telling me I have to give you money to roll down my window, let all my AC out. All of it. For All a, my fresh a, American, legal American air. My yeah. beautiful American air. Yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> better than most other air. And while is. we're on the topic of pointing out Mexican women faults and Mexican people. Uh, they now never, you are Mexican, Chris right? is Mexican. Yeah. I should prefer. Okay. Yeah. yeah, but I'm like clean. I'm a clean Mexican. You aren't that clean of a person, <laughs> by the way. You smell bad sometimes. Sometimes. And yeah, kind, your legs are kind of covered in scabs. It, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is, it is funny out. for him to make jokes about, like, Indians smell bad and Mexicans <laughs> smell bad. Meanwhile, you're like, yeah, but you smell like shit. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't smell bad that often. Uh, but uh, Mexican people never flush their shit toilet paper. That's true. Wait, what? You this don't know is, this? This is disgusting. No. And true. So in Mexico, their sewage system isn't very good, so you can't flush toilet paper. So they put it in the trash can. So oh! they get used to that, and that's just oh, what they do. No. Oh, yeah. So when we we used to work in a warehouse, we got to build a wall. I, we've tried. Or maybe some better plumbing down there. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that might be a good start. They'll pay for it. That <laughs> might, that that might be a good idea there, to actually. give them water that doesn't make them shit blood. Also, <laughs> that might help. But it's called Modelo. <laughs> and it, it does go yeah, down. Yeah, but we, I did not know that. We, we worked at a warehouse, all Mexican women and us, which was hilarious, by the way. So silly. <laughs> Jesus and, Christ. And uh, if you went into the bathroom, it was literally just a trash can, huge trash can filled to the brim with just Mexican lady shit toilet paper. Yeah. One time I went to the bathroom to uh, jack off. You do that sometimes. And I was jacking off during work and yeah. I just turned my head and there was a bunch of shit toilet paper. Why didn't you go in the men's room? There's only one bathroom. It was a shared bathroom. Well, it's because most of the people who worked there were women. Why were you guys working there? Because we just got a job and it was was a good job. You know, like those subscription services for women where they like order a bag of clothes and then they pick what they want and then if they don't like it, they send it back. It's like a thing. It's it's a a thing thing. ladies do. And so what we would do is we were Jesus. We were on like a conveyor belt and you would grab the returned thing. You go through it and just mark on a computer what they kept and what they sent back. But you're also like these are clothes that these ladies tried on. So I would grab a pair of leggings and be like, ha. Sometimes (laughs) I'll see the hit it to Chris and he'd be like, ha. Yeah, we had different kinds of ha. Living the dream. (laughs) They call us the ha brothers. But it was funny because hombre or what is it? Fucking I don't know how to speak Spanish. No, it was close. Mm -hmm. You, were right, you, you were right there. Umbre? Umbre? Hermanos. Yeah. I just know that from Breaking El Bad. Brother. <laughs> El Brother. El Brother. I think that's close. El Brother. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So you're sniffing the panties. Uh, but there was like a score uh, sheet you could go to to see like how fast we were going. And mm. I would like bust my ass and be like, oh, I'm doing great. And then I'd look at it. And the Mexican lady who's on her phone and like has a baby in her arm <laughs> is like uh, 300 points ahead of me. And I'm like, God damn. We were always at the bottom. Yeah. What, is she, what was she doing right? Was she cheating? I don't know. They were just really just- good at it. It. They're good at turning their brains off to get the job done. Oh. They're quick. Yeah. I like it though because <laughs> speedy. I could yeah, very speedy. I could just put headphones in and like that's another thing too is I was definitely like just focusing on like my podcasts and audiobooks mm-hmm. and I wasn't. Mm-hmm. But the the better I did, the more mistakes I'd have. Now correct me if I'm wrong, Chris. Mexicans don't know about headphones, right? 
They've never heard of them. No, yeah. black people too. And people, black people don't know. <laughs> black people yeah. don't know that you can talk to someone on the phone without doing FaceTime. They haven't yeah. learned that. <laughs> well, then you don't know if they're black or not. Though. That's true. That's a, that, I do get that. They've seen, now yeah. with Mexicans. My question is: Is Spanish a language that can't be whispered? Because <laughs> no. I live in Flutterville, and there's a lot of Hispanic people. I don't. Want, I don't know what part of Hispania they're from, but they just don't know how to. Just turn it down a bit. It's loud every time. I think maybe because every like, time. most I, people aren't going to understand me, so why not just scream what I'm saying? Oh, sure. I yeah. also believe that Spanish is all capital letters. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's true, too. And I don't think they use periods. I think they only have exclamation points. Yeah, the so. upside down one and the frontwards one. That's <laughs> yeah. how you know they're yelling. It's like, you have to start loud. They flip it. Yeah, <laughs> they're like, you start loud and then you end loud. And it's like, geez, what, what if you don't? Yeah, they, yeah. What if you don't? What My, if you just learn our fucking language? Dang, man, Chris. <laughs> Chris I mean, did it. He's allowed to say that. He did. Do you speak any Spanish? No, my grandma said I was too white. To he's teach like, me. he's barely Mexican. He's like a quarter. Yeah. His mom, your mom's like half, right? A quattro. Yeah, bro. Or, uh, one yeah. over quattro. I don't know how you. He's again. like the but, same Mexican that I'm a Jew. Yeah, but my oh, grandma's uh, pretty that's brown. A lot. It's, a, it's too much. <laughs> See, that's the thing is, like, everyone's like, you're not really Jewish. I'm like, if we got holocausted, I would get holocausted. So I get to, yeah. I get to claim it. We, so on my podcast so? earlier, we were doing all, somehow we got into a deep dive on Hitler. Don't ask me how. Well, don't ask me. You're going to like how. our ending segment. <laughs> the things Hitler did right. <laughs> we have time. For, I don't have time for that. That's I, it's a three hour segment. Oh, and yeah, you I, will I, have time for it. Oh, okay. you have no choice. It's a th <laughs> it's a third right hour segment. Uh, no, but like we were talking about how like Hitler allegedly was a fucking a bastard son. His was real last name should bastard been. son. No, no, he was oh. he was allegedly a bastard. I son. I heard that crazy different. Yeah, <laughs> I well, was what did you hear? I heard that he was fucking his bastard son. Yeah, well, maybe. <laughs> that's a possible. Also possible. Who I don't knows? know. But uh, his last name should have been Schickelgruber. <laughs> that's why he loves Schickelgruber, <laughs> right? <laughs> oh no, it's Schickelgruber's right. Yeah, yeah, dude, it would have been. He's like, oh, well, let's all hail Schickelgruber, right? It's like nobody that that would be like the comedy version of the Third Reich. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. you know what I mean? Like Hitler, the rule Schickelgruber. The rule of three rice, you know what I mean? Where it's just like the third one's going to be hilarious. You got to get through the first two. They're not That'd be funny. a funny movie. It's an alternate universe where his name is Schicklegruber and no one takes him seriously. <laughs> we must get rid of the Jews. Shut up, Schicklegruber. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so in Germany, if you call someone a Schicklegruber, you're calling him a bastard kind of. Oh, insult. really? So it's an insult, yeah. That's oh, a cool... is that just like a given name to bastard kids? Or is that no, like, it was that the, actual... it was the name of what should have been his last name. I Again, I'm forgetting it. Yeah. I got to, I, like... All the blood rushed to my You're penis when we excited. had that going on. Oh, so like I forgot Hitler? some of it. Yeah. Well, so. you know, men just appreciate other men that know what they want and get it done. Yeah. It doesn't mean that what they're getting done is good. It's just impressive. No. He did, but he did that shit. I mean, he chose something that is pretty like hard to convince people That's to get on amazing. board with. And he got a lot of people on There's board. There's a with comedian. It. I it's not that his... hard to be on board, by the way. <laughs> you just gotta talk to it. Hey, once you're on name. the train, you're on the train. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Speaking of trains, I got a dope idea, guys. That's why like everyone's like Trump's like American Hitler. I'm like, we don't have the train infrastructure for him to be <laughs> no. American what, Hitler. Are you going to use helicopters? Yeah. That's fucking, just a lot of helicopters. Yeah. I mean, it didn't work for Kobe. So how is that going to work for <laughs> I have enough it? helicopters. I have enough. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You were going to say something anti Semitic. Oh, I said there was a it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. You were going to say something anti Semitic and or possibly anti Mexican? No, I don't even just want to say it, it anymore. Just do it. You oh, fucking... No, it's uh, past the point. Let's just talk about Hitler. Fucking some more. fence hoppers. <laughs> Chris would not make it up the fence. No, he'd be the one like halfway up, like come back. <laughs> no, I'd be like, guys, watch this, and I run towards the fence, try to bust the hole through it, and just knock yourself unconscious. He's yeah. Mexican jackass. <laughs> it's just called El Burro. Hello, I am Chris. This is going I'm into Greece. America. <laughs> <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Yo, they should be making content, and whoever gets the most views, we let them in. I'm sure. Oh my god, it should be an Olympic sport. Getting into America. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot of Mexican. Content yeah, but how like is that? America gonna win that? I don't know, man. I, the Mexicans get to win something. We'll let them have something. Okay. Is they, that what we want to give them? A gold doing, medal? And, they're doing stuff. Well, do man. They're, they're doing Does, stuff. They got sand. They got a lot of sand down there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> their candy tastes like spicy sand. Yeah. yeah dude. Terrible. That was How is their food so good? And then their desserts are just dog shit. They suck. I hated like one of the, I loved when I moved to Texas. I hated going to the grocery store and being like, what is all this bullshit candy? Oh, like, yeah. I'm not going to know who's. 
Sorry, is that offensive to you? <laughs> He's just, not Mexican enough. He no. doesn't like that. Kind yeah, of but, I, he, I but I, I shat on candy, and I mm. can imagine crispy. <laughs> that will that'll get him. No, he, he looks like Juan Candy over here. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you want to hear something crazy? Is we lived in a really Mexican neighborhood in San Antonio when I was like a teenager. Okay, and the ice cream truck didn't have ice cream. It had raspas, which is like snow cones, basically. It's the exact same thing. Okay. And then cucumbers that they poured like the salsa, that sweet stuff Tahine on it. and stuff. Yeah. Uh. And then like, just like, you know, it's called like Lucas or something like that. It's Lucas, it's just a little bag of Lucas McCrary. And he's like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know my gender. Now I do. I don't know. And now I do. It's, it's salt. Like, it's, just, yeah. it's just salt. <laughs> yeah. It's just sexy little salt. Is it salt. sugar? Is it salt? It's both. Yeah. And it's a, it is basically, it's just like salsa salt. <laughs> That's all it is. <laughs> And it blew my mind the first couple of times because I would just watch everyone walking away with like cucumbers and stuff. I'm like, mm. I want a vanilla cone. And he's like, get the fuck out of here. I'm you would chill. want a vanilla cone. You That's my favorite type of ice cream. Vanilla, dude, people shit on vanilla. It works. It's pretty good. It's vanilla pretty good. milkshakes are the best. Mm. I love a good vanilla milkshake. I feel like in most places, if you get a chocolate milkshake, it just tastes powdery. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's not real chocolate. Ever since I quit, I've been sober for 30 days. And ever since I quit booze, I murdering milkshakes <laughs> oh my god it's fucking it's insane. not good i don't he think it's good to trade beer for milk drinks uh, him at the same rate he would drink a beer that's not yeah. true. he's just pounding the milkshake oh i drink it fast i yeah. do no, i so i quit drinking four years ago and i instantly went into candy soda pop mm -hmm. whatever because it's yeah. like you're telling yourself like i'm not drinking yeah. So you're going to do all this other unhealthy shit. And, it's and not that's good. okay. But I think it's okay at first because that's, you kind of yeah. need that transition. Because if I just do nothing, I'm just going to go drink again. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm four years into it and I am dying for a Diet Coke right now. You know yeah. what I mean? Which do you isn't try not sugar. to drink like a bunch of sugar and stuff? I try not to, but it's also just like, I can't, am I going to go buy it? Can I ask you also, what the fuck is up with Diet Coke? Why do people like, why do people go to a restaurant and get a double cheeseburger, large fries, and a fucking Diet Coke? It tastes like shit. <sighs> they're tricking their brain, think they're making the right decision. It tastes like Yes. Paper. It actually leads. I think it tastes like paper around a rock. Diet Coke That's actually leads You're to just diabetes licking. more than actual Coke. Well, it's really bad for your brain, too. Yeah. It's it also, that, it what? tricks your. Uh, yeah, it, it legitimately can, like, fuck your brain. It's got aspartame in it. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I like it because it has no calories, first of all. I get like, I don't know, I get way worse heartburn when I drink a regular Coke. I like Dr. Pepper. I, I mean, you want to talk about heartburn, dude. It's like, this I, is the best soda in my No, opinion. it is, obviously, because it's got the most sugar. Yeah. Sugar is great. It just works. They have an ice cream now, a Bluebell ice cream, which is the best ice cream in the world. Asking about Diet Coke is like, why do we drink non alcoholic beer? It's like, because I can't do the fun part of it. But. I feel like if you're not going to drink sugar, you probably shouldn't drink that aspartame shit either. Because I think it's just it's yeah. just as bad. You're it's right. got to be. It fucks your brain up. And I'd rather have an unhealthy heart than an unhealthy brain. I'd rather be dead. There's than these <laughs> little sodas called Zevias. Oh, those are good. They're made with stevia. Uh, oh. I think those They're have tasty. aspartame in them too. Yeah. Though. No, they don't. They don't? They do not. Can we look that up? Because I feel like I thought that too, and then it turned out. Also, they did. let's just go back to talking about killing other Dude, races. I was gonna be. I was gonna say for a second, like it's so funny to go from being we that did, racist to just a like, nice little soda. Wait, talk. does it have stevia? You guys just want to go throw aspartame? Oh, you want to hear something interesting? Is Fanta was actually a Nazi beverage? Good oh point. hell yeah, we're yeah. back on. You didn't know that. <laughs> no. Most people don't know that. No, I heard about it recently. One yeah. of the one of the good. No, things we talked you about this on the podcast before. We did. Yeah. We're saying if the six million Jews. We're okay if we got Fanta out of it. Yeah, it's a good trade. Fanta's pretty good. I like Fanta. Fanta, Fanta. Great Fanta. Don't you want to <laughs> kill some Jews? Don't you want to? Six million Fanta. No. I Fanta, dude, Fanta's great. I love Fanta. Fanta rules. Do you remember a time where there was like tons of flavors? I yeah. feel like you don't really see, you just see orange now. Pineapple. Well, pineapple Fanta know, is pretty big. I think a lot of that is just companies stop baking a bunch of different shit because they're like, let's just make what's most profitable. Maybe, like people don't want to fucking maybe no aspartame then no, no. I mean what is citric acid though that's bad for you it's like what's in an orange what is tart tartaric acid oh uh, you know just a little tartaric acid a how does acid. it have caffeine and no uh, no no everything is a zero but it has caffeine it's very good for keto caffeine's not carb doesn't have carbs yeah I used to crush these on keto and they're pretty good they taste a little bit like diet also fun fact you can snort zevia and it gets you. Or stevia that gets you kind of high. Really? Dude. Yeah, it fucking hurts. Yeah. I used to, <laughs> dude, I found out recently, people don't think you can snort Adderall. 
people have been telling me like you can't snort Adderall. I'm like, about? I snorted a lot of Adderall. Snort anything snort that you Adderall. Can crush. That's what I said. I didn't, I never liked doing it. Like I didn't like snorting Adderall or Molly because I feel like it doesn't last this long. And Bro. maybe it's just uh, in my head. But does it affect you differently? It hits so quickly when you do it that Dude, way. Oh, you I, just want it fast. Yeah, I was rolling one time on Molly. And then I fucking ripped a line of it and got a blowjob and it mm. ruined blowjobs for me because it was really? so good. Oh, yeah. It was, I mean, like. Molly sex rules. I was already on Molly and then I was like, I ripped a line of it and then she fucking blew me and I was like watching myself get a blowjob while I'm being, exor like an exorcism. That's awesome. I'm watching like myself get levitated as I come. And then I found out. She had never seen Forrest Gump, so then we watched Forrest Gump together. Wow, that's so hot. Wow, man. Did right? you watch Forrest Gump? <laughs> what a great post-sex. <laughs> Nothing she gets me turned on like Forrest Gump. <laughs> well, no, I was already movie. done. Oh, okay. Well, you get hard again. Yeah. <laughs> you, you don't Gump. just have to come once, Marcus. Jenny, let you, me fuck her. I couldn't. I, dude, after that one, I was like, I don't know how I'm supposed to come again. It was like all my load, like my my yeah. ancestors' loads got your blown out. Your body in that goes one, back to normal after. Molly will Molly will get all your cum out. Yeah, it gets all that cum. You have, yeah. no, you're no so more, much you have one cum left after you're done. And I don't even know how much because she swallowed. I was thought she, a fucking trooper. They da they're down. Was she on Molly too? No, because uh, that's the best is when you're fuck you're on Molly and you're fucking a girl on Molly because they're down for anything. Dude, she Nothing was just, off she was clinical. Nice. She Last was Asian and Jewish. Oh, you meant she was like crazy. No, no. She was committed. Dog. So she was sucking your dick <laughs> with chopsticks too? Yeah, chopsticks yeah. and a dreidel in my ass. Well, Jewish Whoa. ladies don't like to suck dick a lot. I've heard the opposite. No, I, it's usually the one I said. Well, Jewish ladies don't like anything. <laughs> Jewish women are... Painful to be around. <laughs> you go, I heard it's what I said. <laughs> That's the best argument for a disagreement. I would ever kind of, it that way. He kind of got your ass. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Like, well, I heard it's what I said. That's yeah. why I said it. I think awesome. when <laughs> women are on Molly, that's like the closest they get to knowing what it's like to be a man and what oh, sex. Yeah. And it's still mm. not like that. That's something I've tried to explain to women because they're like, one girl came up with this stupid fucking argument where she was like, <laughs> this real dogo. This dogo, is the He Man Woman Hater podcast. Oh, man. This dumb fucking bitch. I don't think, Sorry. I don't have anything wrong with women. I just think they are ch children in a way. Not fully children. They're a little Hot. bit, a yeah. little bit above. Hot. Well, that's They're why like we're children so, in a way. Why do you think we're so them. attracted to them? Shit. <laughs> but, so all men are gay pedophiles and all women are children. Why yeah. not? And all black guys are gay. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> it's a fun world we live in. It's Fuck. a Dr. Seuss book. And yeah. Indians smell. But uh, yeah, so she said, she was like, I don't understand. Like, how come women who are attracted to women don't like unconsensually sex, R word, other women? I can't say it because of YouTube. Gay. But they're like, men, for some reason. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. So you can't say that word? Yeah. Because I said it like 16 times on my other podcast. So you they're going to have to edit it. You oh, can say fuck. it, I guess. It, well, if okay, are I got we you. still monetized or no? Kind right of. Now. If if you're monetized, it, you it can fuck up your monetization. <laughs> fuck. Yeah. We're we're right we're right there we're on the border. Okay, so lesbians won't. But uh, yeah, that was her whole thing. She's like, men are attracted to women and they like they can't control it, but women can. I'm like, yeah, it's called testosterone. Yeah. Like no woman fully understands what it feels like for a man to see like a girl with tits out and her mm. ass and leggings. Like I don't even like what it like how i feel sometimes i don't even like the fact that i'm just out and about like hanging yeah. out and i see this and i'm just like ha huh. yeah <laughs> like it's, and oh, they're like it's just so control bad. yourself i'm like trust me i am yeah oh, i'm controlling yeah. myself by not picking her up in the air throwing her up and catching her ass on my face and going <laughs> yeah like when you're laying <laughs> with a woman that's what i'm thinking about doing like when you're laying with it and she gets naked because they like to do that because they're assholes and they're like, yeah. I don't feel like it tonight. And they just press their ass against your cock. All you have to tell you is like, if fucking, if it wasn't illegal. If it wasn't illegal. If it wasn't illegal, I would get you right now. I personally, Jesus. I will say With this also. Out hesitation. If it wasn't illegal, I would not R word my wife. <laughs> just a heads up. I don't think I would. I love I her. Think You're not going to retard your wife? I would. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> I would, re I would retard her. I'm sorry. Fuck. It's fine. I would pet my wife it's too hard till work. she dies. Dude, if it wasn't illegal, I'd retard a woman. Uh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, I'd yeah. follow her. I would poorly <laughs> read her a book. Yeah. Oh, now you're speaking my language. <laughs> I would play Game Boy Advance with her. That's <laughs> all the R word stuff. I know you don't want to play this, but I'm going to play it anyway. I've yet to have good Molly sex. 
Oh, dude. Cause really? I, Cause I thought you like had a whole night of Molly. I thing. know, but I was, it was awesome at first. We're in the pool. We're talking with my ex-girlfriend Pools and hot tubs are not good on Molly. They're amazing. No, it's if bad. you do it right. No, what I'm saying, you're, you're saying right now that you didn't get to have good Molly. Sex. Uh, but that's wasn't not why. Good. I'll tell you why. We're, uh, we do that. It's amazing. We're getting yeah. really sex. I'm so hard. I'm going to fuck her. And then she puts on <laughs> Boss Baby for background noise. That's a hot movie. The movie Boss Baby. Oh. And she was writing me and I was just watching Boss Baby scared as fuck. Boss Baby is a talking. weird movie. It has I a just lot lose of... my boner and I get scared because I thought I lost my cock. At least you know you're not a pedophile. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Well, not necessarily. It's just babies. You could not be attracted to babies and still be attracted oh. to like six year olds. Well, no, I put on Boss Baby to distract the <laughs> six year old. I was really? <laughs> Why not? A baby? What are you gonna do with a baby? So, it's too so small. There are pedophiles with n- even more broken down fetishes. Yeah, it's probably. not just they like all kids. Yeah, there could God. be a pedophile who like only like seven to nine. The girl's like, I'm five. Ew. Yeah. That you know should what? be illegal. <laughs> yeah. If you're going to fuck kids, fuck them all. Right? Yeah. You got to fuck the whole class. Got to fuck them all. <laughs> fuck <Pedophile>. kids. <laughs> I want to be the Jeffrey Epstein. I want to find some kids to molest. Like Jeez. no one ever <laughs> done. <laughs> uh, Except for every famous person that we love. That's true. Yeah. Famous people. Most famous people have sex with children. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's unfortunate. They it should is. stop. They should. But I think it just goes to a point where it's like, you've done everything. And then your buddy's like, there is something we have. Gotta catch yeah, but are, you scared, <laughs> are you scared that maybe the pedophilia is what's giving them their talent? Yeah. And that then we lose our movies? That would, I don't know if I'm willing to trade that. I think I would, <laughs> I would rather keep good movies than stop pedophilia. I think they would be more talented if they weren't fucking kids. Because they'd, they'd be so motivated by the idea of fucking kids. They'd have more time. <laughs> Can you know we, uh, Keep it as a dangling carrot in front of them or something like yeah. that. We, That's fucked up. Can we do a quick break? I got to pee. <laughs> all right, we're back. All of us just uh, are fully busted, and now we don't mm. have to talk about pedophilia anymore because it's not fun to talk about it right no. post bust. Yeah. It oh, is, yeah. It's interesting because, like, for a long time, that was like the thing that people hated more than anything pedophilia. Like, it was worse than killing someone, which I don't know. Mm. <laughs> I don't do you know. Th- do you think we are more accepting of it now? I think now people don't really mm-hmm. care as much. Because I mean, well, no at, one's having kids, so. Well, I have one, and I don't want. Any, I don't want anyone to do anything. Do I? <laughs> might be pretty buzzed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Always turning hey, into a conservative overnight. I'm like, don't, you, off. don't you touch my dog? That'd be crazy if being anti-pedophilia was just considered conservative. <laughs> <laughs> what are you watching? Is. I've been watching yeah. Fox News. That's pretty much what it is. It so. pretty much is. Yeah. Well, it was funny because like there was a time like when all that sex trafficking stuff came out. Like if you believed in it they're like oh you're QAnon. you believe in lizard people that's so it's like crazy. no there was a big island where kids were getting like banged I'd, kamala harris is a lizard real. person like that movie <laughs> sound of be. freedom have you seen it ah uh, no when that came out i wanted to but i don't care enough i heard it's like a legitimately good movie it's yeah, not like good. propaganda or anything. Yeah, yeah, it just got a, with it got a bad rap yeah well, because I think sex trafficking is a huge thing, and I think a lot of governments and stuff are probably involved in it. Does even yeah. they don't want it to be like super known. The majority of the movie doesn't even take place in America. Gross. It's in other countries. Well, why would you watch it then? <laughs> <laughs> but like Joe Biden, like Joe Biden is sniffing young girls. Yeah. Like yeah. there's no way, no matter what you believe in, if you're like super liberal and you hate Trump and you think that Biden's a better option. What is the mindset where you're just like, that's fine. They had nice perfume on. Like, it's like, oh, no, he's not doing that because he's attracted to him. I'm like, isn't that weirder? Yeah. Isn't that much weirder if he's just sniffing little girls and he doesn't even want to bang them? Well, dude, it's a lot <laughs> of like weird. projection shit. Like when they, when they had Kamala, Tim Walls are like calling conservatives and Republicans weird. It's like mm-hmm. a lot of that is projection because you can just see who's actually fucking weird. Yeah. And it's like mm-hmm. everyone's a little weird, but. You guys are doing weird ass shit, like telling boys they can wear tampons and all kinds. Of, it's like, is That's that weird normal. or is telling people they should start a family weird? I don't know. Yeah. They're both a little weird. And but. I personally, I don't really believe in the teams. Like, I think at the end of the day, it's they're all still they're more like connected than they are to like us. Oh, like yeah. they care about like Republican politicians and Democratic politicians. They care about each other more than they care about any p- real person. Well, the way I look at it is like they're both going to fuck you. Democrats will be like, we're not going to fuck you. Republicans will be like, we're going to fuck you, but here's how we're going to do it. Yeah. I appreciate the heads up. I feel like Democrats, you know I, mean? I look at like if a Democrat's in charge, there's a chance we're going to have like a dystopian future where everybody's kind of fucked and like life is just really shitty. And I look at Republicans and I'm like, it looks like that could happen also, but not for white people. 
<laughs> so vote Republican so it's like, you know, election. I, I, I mean, gotta, you just picked a side. <laughs> oh, yeah, you, just, <laughs> you picked the right side well, for us. I, in a way, that side picked me, if you really think about it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so I'm like, they I, really did. I don't even really believe that. I don't think that Republicans are racist. I do think that most racists are Republican. But just white racists. Like, well, there's plenty of other... Openly racist. Yeah. Closeted, uh, unconscious racists are almost all Democrat. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Like, I the mean, people from who, Seattle, there was a lot you know of what I'm It's a different about, right? type of racism, yeah. but it's still very much racism. Like, they talk yeah. to black people like they're children. It's yeah. more. It's like it's blindside crazy. racism, you know? Yeah. Like, we got to help the big black man achieve his goals because he can't alone. Yeah, and then he yeah. ends up fucking your daughter, probably. Yeah. That's hot. And the Republicans hate I mean, that. Hot. Good for that guy. She was so little. He was so little. Hold on, not in that mood because that's <laughs> now we're back on pedoph 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 pedophilia. We don't know. Fuck. No, he was he was a teenager too. Yeah, he was a child, right? Nice. <laughs> so it's just child porn in the clear. It's not even pedophilia. It's, yeah, I mean we're talking about children having sex. I mean you're talking it. about it. I'm visual. No, <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing a movie in my head. No, I am imagining the actor who played Michael Orr fucking <laughs> was it Sandra Bullock. Yeah, and Tim McGraw's watching. Oh, oh damn, boy. Yeah, Tim McGraw. <laughs> oh damn. Wasn't he the dad in that? I think so. It yeah. sounds right. I haven't seen that movie in forever. Yeah. Don't take the girl. We went to go see it when it came out, and then it was sold out, so we saw 2012 instead. That's a good one. Better movie. <laughs> that is Tim McGraw. <laughs> the Blind Side was sold out. Don't yeah. fuck the Blind Side did my wife. really well. <laughs> it's so funny how it was. they practically just fucked him over in real life. Yeah, apparently they made a lot of this shit up. But yeah. no shit, it's a movie. Yeah. yeah. What do people think? He was really Asian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I play basketball. Oh, I'm Michael Orr. Oh. No, it was, the, it was the Jeremy Lin story before Lin Sanity, actually. He got adopted. They found him on a street in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. Great city. You know what I've noticed now is with like the politic, p political shit, so many times you'll be like, what? Especially on Facebook, you'll watch mm. like a uh, reel or something, and it's someone doing something stupid, and they're like, he votes Trump, or this one definitely votes for Kamala. It's like, you know. There's other things going on in the world. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and <laughs> most people don't vote. Yeah, most people don't give a fuck about that. Are you guys registered to vote? No, it's foolish. Oh, no. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I Are you? Want. Yeah. Yeah. I, I never I'm, have. I'm the one. What I'm realizing, because, like, I've been trying to do more riffs and shit about just politics and of the election. Mm -hmm. And when I do crowd work and ask people, like, who's even, I? because I used to be like, who, who are y'all voting for? And you don't get, and it's like, who even is registered to vote. Yeah. When I ask a crowd who's registered to vote, it's crazy how it's like 10 Four. out of, yeah, <laughs> yeah it's oh, like, it's maybe 20% of the people. Yeah. That's crazy. Well, I look at it this way. It's like, there's just not enough choice. If there was no, more, I get it. If yeah. there was more options, I would do it. Mm -hmm. Like there should be like five, there should be a thousand choices for president. Yeah. It should not be two people. It I should like, be I like, something uh, you have to like take your time out and research and look up each person and figure out who specifically is for you. Not I, like, I think it should be this. a series of games. Yeah. And whoever Ooh, wins like gets a, a, a squid games kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. And the guy that lies. All these just it. old politicians just playing fucking Red Rover. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> faster. It would help. Yeah. yeah. I compete at something. You know what I mean? Ooh, like an elimination tournament. That'd be fun. Yeah. You just play horse, even. That'd Fuck be it, cool. dude. Yeah. Or maybe just randomizer. Duels. Like you pull a random social security out and, and now Chris president. Reese is president and you're like, yeah. oh, we could, fuck. We uh, should have had, we should have gone uh, back to the two party system. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I think we should do instead of wars. Like mm. we should have uh, mm. everyone's name thrown into a bucket. And like each country chooses one and then they just fucking MMA fight each other. Well, isn't <laughs> that what death? they did in uh fuck it was that movie? Troy? Yeah, well that that stuff actually Troy? used to happen. Yeah, you've seen armies, that movie. Yeah. Armies yeah. would line up outside gates and be like, look. Why don't we just do a gentleman agreement? Yeah. You send your best. We send our best. Then nobody has to die except for that one person. Yeah. And then if you guys lose, they would just come and take it. And then it, that that yeah. castle would yeah. be theirs from now on. But they still I think that makes sense. War. Well, they a lot of the times, sometimes. a lot of the times they would do that and then be like, yeah, yeah no, fuck you. <laughs> I think, <laughs> we're going to kill each other anyway. I don't think that was a means to the end of the war. That was just like a, like you said, gentleman's agreement. Like, yeah, I'm calling him out. Well, I think what's battles funny, would be avoided because of stuff yeah, like but that. But I think Malia what did cause it, right? Because yeah. when it's just all, when it's all the fellas, hey, your best dude against our best dude. But as soon as Helen of Troy starts <laughs> slotting around, <laughs> yeah. now we got to fight a fucking war. We got to send a fair. horse full of men in there. Yeah. <laughs> a man horse. <laughs> That's that has okay. been my nightmare for Achilles was superhuman. That's that, uh, not fair. I'm so scared that a man horse is just gonna appear at my house and it's just full of men. A man horse I've full been of men. So scared of that since I saw that movie. That was the first movie I ever cried. 
Troy? Yeah, Troy made me cry. Not Toy Story 3. <laughs> no, Troy. Toy Story 3 came after Troy. Yeah. And of Troy course I cried. So what, about, what, about, what, about, what about Troy, Troy Story 3? Troy Story 3 is pretty crazy. <laughs> Just a bunch of toys fighting each yes. other. It's Troy, but with toys. Saving Private Toy Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Saving Private G.I. Joe. Oh, that'd be insane. Those movies were Dude, bad. we need to make some crossovers. This, this uh, that's yeah. what I, so back to what we were what I what I brought up like an hour ago before we started. Movies sucked after 2008. Oh yeah, we said we were gonna talk about yeah. that. We <laughs> did, and then we got really oasis. That wasn't even Asia. Just a little oasis. <laughs> yeah, movies do suck, but it's crazy because some movies come out like, have you seen The Last Duel? No. No, that's well, that's what I've been saying too. Movies don't necessarily like. There are great movies. It's mm. just you don't hear about them because most people don't like good movies anymore. Yeah, most oh, people like. The, yeah. I think right now is like the main person, especially in America. They like things that are, they are familiar with. Yeah, like they like. Oh, that's that guy from this. That's mm -hmm. the character from that. That's why that Deadpool Wolverine movie did so good because that whole movie is just like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. It's and like it's, the member berries from South it is. Park. It's the member yeah. berries movie, and it's easy, and Me that's why. Remember Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> Remember all the X Men guys? <laughs> we brought them back. How'd they bring them back? I don't know. None of those guys have been in movies since then. I'm sure it wasn't that hard. Yeah, uh, I'm sure the guy that played only known for one role. Yeah, the guy who played, was going to come back for it. The guy who plays fucking Sabretooth stepped away from doing Cabin Fest Murder Movie Twelve, <laughs> which is actually pretty good. I like oh, that movie. Wait, we got to bleep that. Right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's the movie it. title though. It's a movie title. It's wild. <laughs> But uh, like we just saw a movie uh, last week called Strange Darling that's super unique, a uh, really good edgier seat thriller shot that it's shot on 35 millimeter, so it looks really it's a beautiful awesome. Made movie. It, it okay. feels like a 70s top notch, like almost like Roman Polanski, by the way. But <laughs> <laughs> they're back, they're making movies again. But uh, yeah, and excellent Christ. movie. I'll tell you what, you probably never even heard of it. No, yeah, no. and it's it was awesome. It was really good. Dude, it's so crazy that we tried to get away from talking about pedophilia. <laughs> you can't. No. If not, you want to talk about good movies, you're back if in you're the talking fucking... About, yeah, look, they're hand in hand. Hand, hand, hand and child hand. So right. <laughs> hand and much smaller hands. <laughs> <laughs> much unconsensual smaller hands. It Fuck. is what it is. I mean, Stanley Kubrick, too. There was, like, conspiracy theories that he was filming, like, mass orgies and stuff on an island oh children. yeah that, that, that was a true, huge yeah. thing there's a whole book what? about it mm -hmm. there was all these kids that came forward and said that they were like they were all like street kids mm -hmm. which would make sense that they chose that and yeah. they were taken to this island and horrific stuff they said happened to them and uh yeah one of them said that it was stanley kubrick was filming the whole thing and then they would have to watch back those videos so like, topping really up good. old guys in a yeah. rich person's living room. Why would they make him watch it? Like game tape? Because it's yeah. Stanley Kubrick and he makes See, good movies. What are that, you talking that about? That would suck. You're watching your own wow, molestation and you're like, oh my God, I'm enthralled. Yeah. <laughs> the cinematography is so good in this. How did he get that so shot? so good. Everyone's wearing masks. I just picture him. Cut! <laughs> oh, he's a child orgy. <laughs> he's Cut. micromanaging the film. Yeah, you're not sucking it right, you fucking idiot. Yeah. And what are you doing over here? Just getting <laughs> fucked in the ass? That's not this scene. <laughs> this Get is not lines. my vision. <laughs> Get your fucking lines right. Did you read the screenplay or not? It just said get fucked. Exactly. <laughs> so do that. So get fucked. <laughs> and throw me with your fucking. I will say one genre that has really made a comeback is horror movies. Horror movies have been very good. Mm. Well, I, I think part of it is just like people want fucked up shit like that. Yeah. yeah. And I, I think like the reason comedy movies died is because Kind of the same thing where they, they try to like soften everything mm -hmm. to make it appeal to everyone, make yeah. more money. I get that. But it just like it took the heart and soul out of like what people like about genres. Well, so like horror movies and stuff. I met like when they do South by Southwest, we would mm. we used to do the roast battles on there. So you get the platinum badges. You can go anywhere. Mm -hmm. And it's cool because you like you meet people from movies and you meet like journalists who like study movies and stuff. And the consensus for comedy from then them was like, it's just too risky for the studio. That's what I'm saying. The studio's just like, look, if we're going to pass a comedy and you'll see if, you, if we're going to pass comedy, it's got to be like a female lead. It's got that one has to be Asian. Yeah, so it's not going to be funny. And it's not even that. it. I don't even think it really appeals to those people because those movies always do bad. Yeah. No one sees those movies or it's like a black comedy, but it's not even a black comedy. It's like a black comedy made for white people. Yeah. It's they suck. Like Kevin Hart movies are not for black people. No. Black and they, people they are aren't gentrified good. now. Well, they're so whitish. They the are really trying to make black people white. They're yeah. trying to take away any individuality that that like community had. Yeah. 
It sucks because I mean, as a kid, what got me into comedy was like Def Jam and mm. like Richard Pryor. Because Patrice it, O'Neill, those were the yeah. guys that didn't give a fuck. Because well, and back to what <laughs> we're talking about with black rooms, it's like in a black room, you have to not give a fuck. Yeah, because they can tell if you're giving a fuck. Oh, if you and get, it won't yeah, work. If you care at all, they'll pounce on your ass. And I don't know, like I just like movies like The Hangover and Tropic Thunder and shit. They did blackface in 07, dude. Yeah. Well, did you know? And it was hilarious. And black people were like, yeah, Robert Downey Jr. Oh, killed it. I've yeah. never met a black person that. That's the thing. He's offended by Robert Downey Jr. I doing think, that, right? No, not even remotely. Exactly. I think anything, anything regarding white people or black people, even the N word, can be funny if you can make black people laugh with it. And I have. I have said the N word with a hard R on stage and murdered in front of a bunch of black people. All I've right. done it twice. <laughs> Try. And I mean, hey, I pride Rule myself of threes, on that. Though. And I look, I'm not saying, oh, I'm going to write a bit and have it in there. But if I did, it's got to be the best fucking bit of all time. And it has to need that word to be in it to be funny. That's the only way I would I would ever say it on stage, like out of the context of like it was just an in the moment thing. Well, yeah, you're, I, I, you're not Kramering it. Yeah. Like yeah. Louis C.K. has a bit where he, he says has it. a lot of bits. He has like, all like most of his and specials. All really good. <laughs> well, and again, he's a layered writer. You know yeah. what I mean? And it but took a long time. He wasn't doing that six years in. But probably. also back to Tropic Thunder, it's not just like, hey, let's just put him in blackface. No, it's, it it's was making fun layered, of the idea. Right? Of they it, were yeah. making fun of the whole industry. Mm -hmm. And then they mm -hmm. were making, within that, making fun of a method actor and all this shit. And it's just like, I don't know, man. They don't make comedies like that anymore. Well, they just can't. I mean, no. they can. The thing is, if they made it, it would do well. Like, that's probably another reason why Deadpool did good. It's because it's a raunchy R-rated comedy, and mm. we don't ever get those anymore. What People are fun? starving. And Dick I think, the Musicals. Dick oh, the Musical. Yeah, that Have was you seen great. that one? Dick's Dick the, the musical. musical. So it's these two gay mm. guys. Yeah. Maybe we can just show you a that oh, You guys probably, definitely have seen that. That uh, is probably the funniest two, movie I've seen in a long time. It is one of the funnier movies. There are two gay guys, and they used to do a two-man show in New York called Dicks the Musicals, where they play like these alpha businessmen guys who okay. find out that they're uh, long lost identical twins and then they end up falling in love and having sex. <laughs> it's like So it's incest too. Yeah. It's, oh, it's, it's hilarious. It's absolutely insane. And one of the last <laughs> jokes is it's called or lost song, lost songs is called All Love Is Love. And they're like, God is a faggot and all love is love. <laughs> like Jesus. Okay. It, I mean it offends everybody too. That's the great thing about it. And it didn't oh, yeah. do very What's good. What's it on? It didn't do good. It's uh, I think it's Blue? on Max. no Amazon or Max. HBO Max, yeah. HBO Max, yeah. It is so it, wild it and is. hilarious. It's nonstop funny. Okay. The I only think he would love it. Bad thing is Megan the Stallion is in it, and I think they just put her in it for like publicity. That's a studio oh, thing. And her for song sure. sucks. It's oh. just it's stupid. Because I like Megan the Stallion, but really? I can't. That's I like crazy she's hot, dude. Oh well, I, that's different, but it's too much for me. I don't bad. like music. I don't care about. I mean, there's See, a lot of music I don't give a fuck. I like, like big ass and tits, but that just I think her tits are fake, and then her ass looks fake too. Yeah. I, I have no I problem think her with tits fake look fake at all. Tits. I hate fake tits. They piss me off. Because <laughs> good tits, you know, are, <laughs> you got, you got serious. You second. either look, you either don't get good tits up, or yeah. you don't. You don't get to just make them. You don't yeah. make good tits. That's why they're beautiful. <laughs> this this is America. Be Bullshit. happy in your body. It's not America. It's, no, this isn't America. Not this is America. This it's is not some, fake tit. Bird. If somebody wants to get a bunch of Chinese fucking gelatin and shove it in their tits, do better then. Make it look better. Because if when they're round. And like, you, there's like a fucking like. It looks like they're on like a balcony. Yeah, it looks like yeah. they're sitting on a flat balcony. Fuck yeah, they are. I hate that. Yeah. I like a kitty drop. You like a patio. I want those girls to fall. Like a like a like a deck. Uh, yeah, like I the want the woods to go, rotten and shit. Wah. Yeah, yeah. Like, a, like a rotten deck where it's yeah. all saggy. I, I, I maybe you gotta be up, careful where you. You step. like your deck. You're I love when my wife up. comes home from work and takes her bra off and I put my hand up under her tit and it's wet. Mm. Uh, it's just a swampy little a fake, little tit fake, fake tit sweat. swampy little tit tit yeah. house. You got a tit bog. <laughs> <laughs> you can do that with him right now. You can do that with me right now. No, honestly. easily. Chris's tits look like not good girl tits, but they do <laughs> look like good. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna pause. We gotta go come again. I'm self conscious <laughs> about my weight. If are you? No, no. <laughs> he takes his shirt off when you swim. When I make him. Oh, when I swim. <laughs> when it's dinner time. <laughs> I take my shirt off when I swim. Okay, he does. But I think sometimes Girl, people man. are like, I, I don't. <laughs> what are you talking about? Some, sometimes people look at him and they're like, I don't know if he should be doing that. Yeah, <laughs> that I might, don't care. That might dude. be one of them transies. <laughs> I might be. I could pull off down drag there. so good. I we think, went. I should start doing drag. It was so funny. We went to Six Flags and it was me, him, and my daughter. And we, me, my wife, and my daughter have season passes. <laughs> okay. So when they scan the pass, it shows a picture of the person. That's so they, crazy. He scans mine. He's like, All right, you're Adam. He scans my daughter. He's like, That's Quinn. And then he scans Chris, and he's like. 
Carrie? And I'm like, yep, that's Carrie. And, and he's I'm just, just like, standing there like this. He's just like, all right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, <laughs> I think it, I think it was mostly just like I'm not touching it this. Just, yeah, <laughs> there, there's some things where you're just like not worth yeah, that. Six just, flags. That job. was what I was gonna do too. If he's like, that's not Carrie. I'm like, all right. She looks a little different since the surgery, but that's kind of fucked up. He for was you to this, bring that. Um, <laughs> just this old guy, and he was just like, okay. You can tell that's a world six he does flags, man. not want to live in. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, how much is a Six Flags pass? Uh. We pay like eight bucks a month per one. Yeah, you should be able to convince someone that this is a trans. Well, and something. also, oh, yeah. I think I pay for it. Why can't I just give it to someone? She's not here. She's not using it. It's not like yeah. we're doubling up the past. That's also the yeah. great, that's one of the good things about twenty twenty four. No one can question you if you're a woman or a man. That anymore. was a great. That was like right after Chris uh, broke, broke up, up with, with his my girlfriend. girlfriend. He was so Day depressed. After. Yeah, and he Aww. was just he was just on roller coasters like. <laughs> <laughs> I was so happy. So you uh, really sold the part of a miserable trans person. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I was just angry at the world for no coach Joe. He's yeah. good for me. Telling everyone about his stupid problems. Yeah. <laughs> I just broke up with my girlfriend. Everyone's like, yeah, you had a girl. I wasn't telling people on the roller coaster. <laughs> you were, oh, you weren't telling, you weren't we're talking to people. Down. I broke hey. up with my girlfriend. Ah! No one can hear you. What's that guy screaming about in the front? <laughs> I thought she loved me. <laughs> <laughs> she broke my fucking heart, that bitch. Damn. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring it. Well, you brought it up. I brought it up. Damn. Um, yeah, pretty quick. Did it make uh, you feel better, <laughs> roller coasters? Yeah. I think I also remember her mom you. has cancer, so I'm happy about that. Oh, that, Jesus that'll make Christ. you feel better. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Oh, yeah. What kind, what, kind, what kind of cancer? Uh, the one that I hope kills her. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Death cancer. Bro, oh, she cheated on me, that cunt. You know what's crazy? You That just shows you're a very romantic guy. You're like You're like a loyal dude. Yeah, to the point where if you get if you break up with Chris, he will wish your mom dies of cancer. <laughs> well, I broke up with her, and he still wishes her mom. Yeah, dies Yeah, and of cancer. he'll say shit like he broke up with her, yeah. like he's <laughs> butthurt about it. <laughs> yeah, he broke up with her. You broke up with her after she fought, you found out his her mom had cancer. Yeah, that was what? <laughs> Ew, bro, no, she cheated on me. I didn't break up with her because I found out her well, mom had cancer. It, it did not have. She kind of broke it. up with you, right? The second she cheated on you. I guess. I guess. That's not the decision someone she makes. Was, she was really mad that I broke she up with her. She was pretty pissed that he broke up with her. Yeah. She, well, she was, she was like, sleeping. She really yeah, now who's she going to cheat on? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Her that's, mom. That's what you got to... That's how women, you got to understand these fucking women like, okay, all right, so this is getting real negative. Uh, it's a, we've already <laughs> talked a lot of shit about women. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're great, but they're fuck. just not that great. They're it's not just, that great. We're just better. At Men. some things. Men. Yeah. Men. They got they Men. got squishy holes. That's the only thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, welcome back to a squishy hole. They're lucky oh, they have squishy them. Hole. If they didn't have a hole that was awesome to fuck, I don't <sighs> think we'd talk to them that much. No, I don't think sure. we'd keep them around. <laughs> if we didn't have big old muscles and cocks and, you know, earning potential. <laughs> I don't have any of you those think things. that matters? <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, I don't have any of those things, and I'm married. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have earning potential. Like, I yes. Did, potential. I yeah. am stronger than 90% of the women on this earth. If I wanted it, I'll get it. I would say 99. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but you, you, you don't, like, sell that. You don't sell that vibe. No, I'm not trying to sell. I'm talking about, I'm making a joke about unconsensual sex. I know. That's a, <laughs> that's a wild delivery. You can just say retard. <laughs> They're going to talk about retarding a girl. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna, I love that that we came up with that collectively. Yeah. Yeah. Like, a retarded girl. like a loophole around YouTube. Dude, you got to help me. I accidentally retarded this girl last night. I think you should be able to abort a baby if it's uh, from retard. Yeah. You know, like yeah. a retard product, maybe. Oh, they do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We should be a- they do that. Yeah, retard That's babies. That's a thing right now. Oh, yeah. They, yeah, they can tell when it's going to be, and they just. Oh, you didn't know about that? Well, I was yeah. still talking about the other R word, but yeah, I didn't know they could tell if a baby's retarded. They're killing downs everywhere, dude. Really? They're crushing it. Is that like an MRI? Huh? How yeah. do you tell if a baby's retarded? They ask it. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> <laughs> they just spell Shh. cat. K. Oh, no, oh. kill it. <laughs> <laughs> that would be hilarious if they just like put a fucking flashlight and a tube and a gun down the woman's snatch. You know what? Oh, they're just that- like, spell cat. <laughs> That's a good compromise. A Women can get. Yeah, yeah, it's the Turkish guy from the Olympics. <laughs> right in the pussy. Kills I think it. That's a really good compromise. Women can get an abortion, but the only way they can get it is to get shot in the gut. Yeah. Because yeah, it's like, all right. There's a chance you might die because you are. Look, no matter what way you do it, you it is killing. You're killing it, and it's like I think you should be able to do it. Whatever. Yeah, like, I, I like again. Yeah. The the life of the mother, 
yeah, who do you want to die? The kid or the baby? It's like, you make a fucking decision. Yeah. Now you I can't don't... just sit here like, well, God's up to it now. It's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Let's figure this the fuck and out. This I don't you really get why people value the life of a child they don't know so much. Well, a child that has experienced so nothing. Well, too. think about uh, it like this. If you were trying to make a child, that's like you ordered a pizza. Yeah. I really want it to get here. Right. And you got the pizza tracker and you got everything and you got the appointment and then it and then it doesn't show up and you're kind of upset about it. Right. Mm -hmm. But we're talking about like I've placed the pizza order. I should be able to cancel it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I should exactly. be able to scramble it I up. should be able to cancel the pizza <laughs> order unless the pizza tracker says the guy's already on my way. Do they have to piss yeah. it out? The they piss out the first. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I don't fucking Do know. Do just have to have a gnarly You piss? think I know about abortions? I'm comparing it to a Domino's pizza tracker right now. I, I have no what, idea. I think a dead fetus probably looks a lot like a mangled up pizza. <laughs> <laughs> what the best. Dude, you send a picture to Domino's. This is not the fetus I ordered. Dude. Oh, yeah. Imagine you send a oh, picture. I thought you were going to pull up a picture of a fetus. <laughs> no. Oh, can you do that as well? What it's is this? It's an abortion scoop. Wow, nice. they scoop it no. out like it's ice cream. That's I use that to scoop dabs out when I smoke. <laughs> For some reason, I imagine that uh, the guy with a big mustache, like I scoop uh, the baby. I make <laughs> your dreams come true. Like a I Swedish scoop, chef, uh, baby. Your ambitions still. Five. You know what's crazy? Hold on, real quick. So when you pull up just abortion scoop, <laughs> the two women it shows, it's two black women. Are they wearing merch for uh, like they're, 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 But the way they market abortion towards black people, well, too, is fucked up, though. You market it towards the people who are doing it the most. <laughs> well, I, I get that, but it's also like the people who do it the most got it marketed. It's the chicken yeah. and the egg. It's so smart. It's a real, it's a real uh, chicken and... Uh, it's a real chicken situation. Yeah, well, not, to, like, not to bring up chicken with black people, but it is a real chicken <laughs> and the egg situation that we're talking about they, here. Um, yeah, black people will abort more than anyone, right? Well, it's just like, do you want them to kill her or do you want them to have it and not take care of it? It's up to you. You have to just choose. wait for <laughs> it to well, get and, born to do your black on question, black crime. Like, that's the Is that question a black girl with an Asian man? See, oh, yeah, you got to That doesn't that. exist. That's not real. Why does Hollywood tries to do that? They do <laughs> Asians with black people. Yeah. No. No dice. I, I I was doing a joke about how like I like watching that porn because I'm like this is fucking rare. I'll be like oh, Steve Irwin. Asian guy on black girl. Yeah, you can find it. It's uh. You can find it. <laughs> yeah. 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 You find it. You come out to a soggy wonton. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's it? Sun gum pussy. Yes. Sun, <laughs> sun gum. Sun gum. Pussy. Sun gum pussy. Abortion rights are human. Look, I. I get what That's they're so saying. Dumb. I why are you merch but it's for not abortion? Really, I don't think it's a merch right for abortion. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. I don't. Bro. I don't see. I don't see it as a right because it's something you need someone else to do I mean, for it's, you. It's definitely a left. Also, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like it's not something you you would just have. Like someone has to do it for you. Someone who knows how to do it. Like I understand if a woman's like, I should be able to just shove a hanger up there because that's all you. You're doing that mm -hmm. by yourself. But once yeah. you're getting other people involved, I'm like. Yeah, it's not really like it. You know, it's up to the other people if they actually want to do it or not. Yeah, it's not as much of a choice now as it is kind of a game plan. You know <laughs> yeah, I mean? but I do agree <laughs> that if you make it, it's like anything. If you make it illegal, people aren't going to stop doing it. They're just sure. going to do it in a more unsafe way. There's this uh, pill, like a, it's called a Plan C pill that you can get online. You take it and it, like, you go through like the whole labor and stuff, and it just pops out dead. Oh, I want to see that Osmosis Jones. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> More like Osmosis Bones, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that's a bad ass baby. It's just baby. a little pill going down there and fighting a giant fetus. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Murray's still in it for oh, whatever course, reason. Yeah. Bill, Bill Murray, Murray is in the movie. Bill Murray's the girl. daughter. <laughs> Bill Murray's the girl that takes the pill. He's in a dress. It's hilarious. Oh, my God, dude. Osmosis Jones is great, but abortion Osmosis, <laughs> Osmosis Jones, too. Electric abortion luba glue. <laughs> Oh my God. Wait, so this plan C, you still have to do the nine months? No, the nine, it's like the labor. Like it's like you nine hours. You still have to do labor? It fakes yeah, my ex-girlfriend did it and Ew. she said it was like nine hours, really painful. She's Wait, just in same ex-girlfriend? Yeah. And then she showed me a picture of it. And from, she cheated on you? Yeah. So it probably wasn't yours. Oh, it wasn't mine. It was from her <laughs> before. relationship before. It probably wasn't his. But, yeah. <laughs> Someone's bitter. <laughs> He's being a bitter Someone's Bailey. not over it. <laughs> but um, yeah, she show, She just on a date, she showed me the picture. And it's just a little, little baby thing. And you were like, this is the one. It kind of looked like a shrimp with a human eyes or yeah, something. It looked like Voldemort it's in crazy, that yeah. one Harry Potter. Do you think if she not cooked it up and spiced uh, it and put it over rice? You'd she be probably honest. did. That <laughs> weird fucking voodoo witch <laughs> meal. <laughs> All right, well, eating a baby on rice, I think that's a good place. <laughs> you guys, hey, you, die, you guys did that. Oh, she was black as well. Mine. I'm pro-life. Wait, what am I? Huh? Pro-wife. 
You're I'm pro wife. wife. <laughs> I'm yeah. pro wife. That's, I'm pro wife. That's so I'm sweet. pro wife. I love my lady. Whatever she wants. Yeah. If she wants to abort our baby who's five, I'm just going to walk away. <laughs> I'm not going to shut her island in. I'm happy, gonna... No, no. We're not playing catch anymore. <laughs> happy wife, happy life. We're done playing catch. Not for that kid. Yeah. No, the kid's life is over. Uh, but that, yeah, that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Filthy was, show, abortions. Filthy are cool. show. Yeah. You know, you guys know what to expect. If you're still with us, we're like 50 episodes in. You know what to expect. This was one of our more oh, lenient, chill episodes. episodes. Was it? Yeah. Fuck. We are like. Say, we're a, what's what do you Oh, want? sorry <laughs> for being so lenient. Oh, I love abortion. It tastes <laughs> like kitchen oh, food. I told you I like abortion unless it's a girl. I like abortion more than I like brack people. <laughs> <laughs> At least abortion don't steal from my store. <laughs> you you kind of went shit. Mexican there. I did. Why Mexicans are like, oh, why you abort my baby? Don't stop abort killing my, my baby. baby. <laughs> also stop stealing from my 7-Eleven. God damn. Now, now it's like a <laughs> cow. Little... Dude, why are you fucking aborting my like, baby? Dude, I'm so dude. Mexican, dude. <laughs> <laughs> my accents do not stick. <laughs> they go no. all over the place. <laughs> Hello there, I'm an Asian male. <laughs> that, was, that was like four. <laughs> you went from that? England to Australia to South oh. Africa to the South. Kill your baby, ain't like it? You, you went. You followed <laughs> slavery across the globe. I think with I that solved one. racism. Pull the scoop up your minge and kill that baby. Yeah. Scoop up. Oh. Yeah, pull up the little scoop again. We to put yeah. a little scoop in your poop and your face. Oh, you yeah, think sorry. they stab the baby in England? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> they throw acid on its face. <laughs> All right. Well, you you nope. have a podcast, right, Marcus? You want to plug it? Yeah, it works every time. Podcast every Monday. Uh, well, YouTube, Spotify, Apple, whatever nice. the fuck Apple's doing nowadays. You guys have it on an Apple. Yeah, you can listen to a podcast. Granny on Smith every Monday. Uh, <laughs> so if I do an Apple, you'll hear it. Yep. Hell yeah. Uh, and then what's your Instagram? Uh, at Beard Von Marcus. B e a r. D V O N M A R K U S. Yeah. Jesus. And uh, yeah, guys, uh, share um, Filthy Show podcast on Instagram is where most of our clips are. I've also mm -hmm. been posting them on TikTok. So just look up Comedian Adam Lucky. Those seem to be the ones that are doing better now. So if you guys want to get over there and jump in the comments, it's really fun. It's a lot of hate towards us, which is perfect. I've, like I said, Keep sending clips and episodes to people in your family that you know don't like this kind of stuff. We want yeah. that. Send it to your aunt who like is always posting Kamala Harris stuff. Oh yeah, send that oh, bitch yeah. shit. Hey, that shit. comment like the most creative ways to kill your unborn baby. Yeah, that'd yep. be fun to that'd know. That'd be fun. And that's get fun out there and vote. Tell get us out there and vote. Yeah. <laughs> tell us your abortion stories. Oh, real quick before we sign off, I will end on this fun story. Um, we were doing a prank phone call podcast with Captain Wright. Uh -huh. It's really fun. Check it. I forget what it's called, but just type in Captain Wright prank phone call Adam Lucky Chris Reese. And I called an abortion clinic. Yeah. And I did not think I was going to get as far as I did with it. But I was like, look, I have a plan. It's going to sound like a lot at first, but you got to listen to me. I was like, I'm going to bring my my girlfriend's pregnant. She doesn't want to get an abortion, but she's pretty dumb. So I think if I bring her in there and we make it look like a dentist's office. <laughs> <laughs> And you guys just kind of pretend like you're going to put her on her, take her tooth out. And then we take something else out. I'm like, she's not going to be that mad afterwards. And the lady's like, I'm not going to help you do that. <laughs> I was like, it sounds like a lot at first, but I've thought it through. It's a good plan. <laughs> and she really fully believed me that she I was so disgusted. <laughs> she, she wasn't down at all. No. Oh. Do these people even want to kill babies? Nah, I know. What is our taxpayer dollars Don't going Don't you towards? get some kind of like, like part percentage? You get gratuity? <laughs> Don't you work on commission, Don't bitch? You, have a death <laughs> you just pretty women. women. <laughs> now you gotta meet meet Don't your you your baby death quota this month. Yeah, yeah, you got a deadline, bitch. Literally, all right. You gotta fucking sorry. Hell oh, yeah. you think abortion doctors go home and like, honey, I'm just not meeting this dead baby deadline. <laughs> it was a bloodbath. There was a bloodbath right. there today. Sorry. Well, yeah, share, like, all that shit. Uh, abort. abort, abort. Get rid of them. <laughs> I am underscore Adam Lucky on Instagram. Chris is uh, C Reese Comedy. That's yes. It, right? All right, uh, and yeah, thank you, thank you, Marcus. That was a lot yeah, of fun. Thanks Love for you. having me.